Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. Today we are continuing the Trophy Hunter playthrough. A list of the guidelines for the character build is in the description below. And with that, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Let's get this going. All right, so we got a new day. Everything's looking good. Let's double check to make sure there's nothing to come out. Um, I've got eight rounds. No weapon. Uh, I'll, I'll top it off. So if I get another sidearm. Okay. Let's get this going. Looks like dog meat's having a good time. Get some more dogs in here. I need more dog food. I haven't checked any of the the local uh, vendors, you know, in the wasteland. I've only honestly checked once at Bunker Hill. There is one other place I can think of off the top of my head that has it for sure. Actually, there's a few places uh, actually that have it. Uh, I just either don't want to clear a dungeon to get a couple of cans of dog food or I don't want to do a mission for someone or I don't want to steal it. Uh, there's a few others I do know of that could be some easy just go gets which I might do I'm starting to get desperate here for dog food Alright, so yesterday we cleared out completely the polymer labs. And so today we're going to organize a little bit the outbox for our location. And we are also going to start to hit up the library. Need that library cleared. Now there is a workstation. It's a power armor station right by the library. I am willing to use just as a dump to get the library clear. So we are going to do that as well. I might wait to organize the outbox at the food food stand until the library is clear. That way it's all pretty much just done. So we'll see. So let's go to the, the library. 
Let's see what's happening. quite know what happened there. Doesn't look good for that one fella though. You know what? I do need some caps. Nothing else. Yeah, that's good for some copper. Interesting. Well, definitely worth it. There, now I got enough for two. Two great mints. Let's go ahead and put our food in. And now let's use this as a dump again. All right, let's head up that library.
All right, so roughly the same thing. We're going to go through the library, dump everything into the, everything we want into the chem lab, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, this place looks a little bit different than when we were last year. All right. Let's, I guess we'll start on this side. Dog people will like that. No need to get too crazy. I forget what I get for scrapping that. I think it's just some steel and a screw. Well, I guess I can give this to one of my one of my security guys. I don't remember if that's good for copper or not. I'll leave it.
getting uh, a little bit of pork out of here. Well, I'll call this section done. Lots of fancy hairbrushes. <clears throat> Again, we're just going to put all the chunk in here, and then we'll organize it as we go. So many microscopes. All right, that looks like this whole front part is done. Very good. Maybe this will hit the hell hell. Whoa. 
we didn't even see that one. All right, so I am going to drop that one book. Is that a miscellaneous word book? Not that it's going to make much of a difference. I just it's not something I need or want. All right, so <clears throat> one more buff out. Just get through this, because my life is uh, <laughs> scary. It's not that bad. Like I said, I've I've been playing a lot of different builds lately. Low life builds and uh, you know different things. So. Having my life down this low isn't uh, alarming me too much right now. Still gotta be careful, don't put me wrong. Hey, a carrot. I'm going to do just one quick check down there and then <clears throat> pretty much going to call this.
Well, I guess that's good. <clears throat> I, uh, I don't know if I missed any overdue books. I don't know where all of them are. I can go ahead and turn in what I have. I'm not too concerned about this magazine, though. I just want the weight. So what, those are... I forget. Half a pound each, so I just lost roughly three and a half pounds. Not bad. I can buy that thing, can't I, Jim? If I want it. No, I need 60. No, I need 50. Okay. All right, well. This place is pretty much done. I'm gonna call it done. a lot here. So I'm just going to run straight to the power armor workshop. It's pretty much just across the street. I'm hoping this one buff out will carry me the entire way through. I'm not sure if it will. I might need one more. And then the library will be will be done. No need to come back in this place. Made it out with uh, what nine pencils too. Not bad. And a little bit of copper. I think it's definitely time I can start considering carrying the hunting rifle. I think it's... It doesn't have the same fire rate as... Pipe rifle I have now, which is one of my concerns about uh, trading it out completely. Though I might just do it, you know. I have the shotgun. I don't know though, that fire rate is. It is important.
This way I can carry more. I'm going to be very upset if like some random ghoul just shows up or some random dog pops out of nowhere and just smites me. I was thinking about dumping everything. But it's just also just such a quick turnaround. I forget, is there water fountains here? I don't think so. Just see what happens. Nope. Not even if I took that other buff out. <laughs> Add ten more pounds. It's right there. That's thirty pounds right there. So forty three pounds left. It's not bad. I'll get it. Next one without a buff out. I do need to take care of this buff out addiction though. Since I'm using so much buff out right now, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to let the addiction run its course. I keep feeding it. All right. I forget how much space I said. I think I said, what, 43? So I just have enough. This will be the last run. And uh, the library will be considered clear. And we should have quite a bit of base resources now to get quite a bit done. You know, truly. Of course, there still are, you know, uh, cages to make. And I saw something. Huh. Anyway, uh, cages, and, you know, there's still a bit of things to make. 
and uh, we will have to get supplies for that too but this is a very solid foundation really if you take the time and just clear out a couple of solid uh, dungeons you know they can really give you a very powerful start you really don't have to clear out too much more after that you can just nitpick so there's different ways to harvest your resources in this game Now, <clears throat> I am going to do a single run, if I can. Maybe I can bring some of that other material forward. Now I am going to go ahead and open up this path. There should be just a landmine. Yep, there it is. And there should be a booby trap over here. There it is. It's going to be close. If I didn't have the buff out protection, I could just use it. I, I could get it all, but I can't. That's okay. Still, it was a great move. I am half tempted just to go get it, just to be done with it. Wow. 
Okay. So now let's. I think that's the best I can do for right now. And it looks like I'm going to have to stay the night in this bed again. It's all right. All right. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give a thumbs up. This is the type of content you enjoy watching. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you can get updated when the videos come out. Thank you very much for joining me. And have a wonderful rest of your day.